By the way, check out that shirt. That video is coming very, very soon. That's your special Christmas present this year. Passengers, or as I like to call it, an updated version of Titanic in space. This movie stars Star-Lord Chris Pratt and Mystique Jennifer Lawrence, who are two passengers who wake up 90 years too early from cryosleep aboard a ship called Avalon on a journey to a colony planet. Sounds like a pretty cool science fiction romance movie. It's like if you're going to have a love story, why not have it in space? And along the way throughout this movie, there are some intriguing moments containing sci-fi, technology, little tidbits of things that could be possible in the future, like the concept of colonizing another planet in the future because Earth's too populated and shit costs too much. So it's like, yeah, let's get out of here and go to another planet. And because Chris Pratt's character is an engineer and he has a special skill trade, well, he's invited to this other planet because this new colony, well, they need engineers. And then on the other hand, you had Jennifer Lawrence's character who's a writer and she wanted to experience this journey. So she actually bought her ticket. And once again, there's some very interesting science fiction concepts in this movie, like going into cryo sleep for 120 years on an interstellar flight across the galaxy to a new planet. And it begs the question, would you do that? Like if you had the chance to go into cryo sleep for 120 years, would you do it? Now a few other things I really liked about this movie was I liked the ginormous ship Avalon that they were traveling on in this film. From a design perspective, I liked the design of the ship. It was very minimalist. And from a scientific one, it seemed like things on this ship would be plausible one day in the future. I just want robots that clean up shit that I drop on the ground. I guess we technically already have those. Roomba's soft touch bumper provides a cushion between the robot and the objects it touches while cleaning, protecting your walls, furniture, and other household items from scratches and marks. But once again, the best thing that this movie has going for isn't the romance, it's the scientific science fiction aspect of it. I like things that are plausible and futuristic that could happen in two or three hundred years in the future. Just the concept of going light speed intrigues me from distances from galaxies to other galaxies. For example, there's one scene in this movie where Chris Pratt has a very, very urgent emergency and he has to send a message via video back home to Earth. And after he sends the message, it's like your message will arrive in 54 years at a cost of $6,000. Thank you, have a good day. And now here's a quick flick fact for you because secretly I'm a nerd who late at night researches other planets and galaxies. Yeah, I believe in aliens. My name's John. Did you know the nearest galaxy to our own is the Andromeda Galaxy and it's 2.5 million light years away? And if we wanted to go there on the fastest spacecraft that we have, well, this is how many years it would take to get there. Yeah, so I'm gonna shut up now and continue on with the movie review. Now, I would say besides this movie's sci-fi element, the strongest thing that it has going for is the first act of the movie. Because in that first act of the movie, due to certain circumstances, the character Jim wakes up from cryo sleep, and then the movie turns into Castaway in space. And I love movies about just one character in isolation, just talking to themselves and doing random things. He's watching movies, he's dancing, he's playing video games, he's talking to a robotic bartender. And I really enjoyed that. I could have watched an entire movie just about that. I didn't really need Jennifer Lawrence. I mean, yeah, sure, once she was introduced, she was okay, but I didn't need her in this movie. And you gotta give it to Chris Pratt because he really does carry this movie. Jennifer Lawrence is there but she's almost more of a supporting role compared to Chris Pratt because he is the main backbone of this movie. But the thing about Chris Pratt is he seems like a down-to-earth, no pun intended dude. He seems likable. He just seems like a guy that you would know. And then during the second act of the movie, it turns into a very hardcore romantic love story. And then there's an element to the movie when you really break down this relationship between both of them. It's a little bit creepy. There's morals that are broken and things that... If you did in reality, well, you'd probably go to jail for, and it, it I don't know, it, it makes you wonder. It's like, how did you guys base this relationship on that? I don't know if I can buy that. And now my biggest complaint with this movie is the third act of the movie, where anything that can happen will happen, and Chris Pratt becomes a superhero. To sum it up, the third act of this movie is very formulated. It's almost like five other big blockbuster movies put into one. It's Titanic and Gravity and a whole bunch of other movies mixed into one, maybe a little bit of Armageddon. So I'm going to give the movie Gravity... Ugh. A B minus. The movie is entertaining at times. It has interesting sci-fi elements that really keep the movie going. And without Chris Pratt being the main actor in the movie, yeah, once again, Jennifer Lawrence is there. But in my opinion, she was just sort of there. But I really did enjoy the first act of the movie and the sci-fi elements throughout the movie were entertaining. And just the concept of futuristic sci-fi space travel, things like that, I just really love. And it's like, why can't we just get a movie? Instead of having things go wrong in a spaceship, why can't we have a movie where they're actually on a planet colonized? it and have a story about that and just really dive into depth about scientific things that can happen in the future. I know 
know I'm crazy, but that's the kind of movie I want to see. That's my take on the movie Passengers. Now here's my question to you. What'd you guys think about the movie? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Or if you guys were stuck in space and you could pick one celebrity, who would you pick to be stuck in space with? Yeah, let me know that down below. I'm curious to find out. And by the way, I wanted to let you guys know that this movie review is brought to you by an awesome company called Azoop. They make awesome technology related things like this and gadgets. The future is now. It's a fully functioning mini PC that you can just plug into any monitor, including your TV. You put up the antenna, you hook it up to Wi-Fi, and you can do whatever you want to on any monitor. So rather than just talk about this, how about I just show you guys how it works and how I use it? So yeah, I'll meet you guys in my home theater room. I'll see you there. So here's how I use the Access Plus mini PC stick. I simply plug it into the HDMI port of my TV, I use a wireless keyboard or the Link remote control, and I browse the interwebs or watch assholes on YouTube, such as myself. Hey, look at that guy right there, that's me. And it also comes equipped with two USB ports so you can plug in anything that you want. So once again, this is what I use for my TV. This isn't like an Amazon Fire Stick, this is better. This is an actual computer that you can do anything that you normally could on a computer, but on your TV now, and it's convenient. And either way, I highly recommend the Link Remote because it's just a nice universal remote with a keypad on the back of it. So anyway guys, if you guys wanna check out the mini PC stick or the remote, I'll put the link down below to Azul so you can check it out, have a closer look for yourself, and look at the specs. As always guys, thanks for watching, I really do appreciate it and Christmas is coming so yeah I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas and by the way look out for a very special movie review for something related to that right there little Macaulay Culkin this is it don't get scared now thanks for watching make sure you subscribe that way I can see you next time take care